The reason I wear number 59 is um, I wore number nine with Philly and my guy, uh, Terrence Clark, uh, he was like my little brother. We got super close my first year in um, Utah. When he died in a car accident, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows, um, I wanted to combine our numbers, but I didn't know if I wanted to wear 95 or 59. And um, I had a conversation with my mom. Me and my mom kind of talk about everything. That's like my backbone. So I was talking to her, I was like, yo, I don't know which one I want to wear. I don't know if I want 59 or 95. Like, can you help me make this decision? And my grandfather, who I also have tatted on my arm right here, Arthur Winfield, she told me that he died at age 59. So it kind of like, all made sense and uh, obviously I was the first player to ever wear that in the NBA and it just became a number of my own and I'll never wear another number ever again. So it's kind of the backstory to that one. Yeah, my mom is super important to me. Um, she's been through my ups and downs, helped me through a lot of decisions, let me make a lot of decisions, fall on my face a couple of times, but was always there to kind of, you know, just, let me know that as a man, you, that happens. Uh, you have to make your own decisions. And uh, I think her helping me and letting me do that early on kind of makes things easier now for me. Yeah, I talk to my mom about everything. That's like my best friend. Um, whether it's girls, um, whether it's about going out, like just anything, basketball. She's super intrigued and interested about it. So it, just uh, her support means everything to me. Honestly, that might be worse for the other team if my mom shows up because um, one thing everybody used to say is whenever my mom was around, I played so much harder. It's kind of like, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't want to hear her mouth after the game. <laughs> like, if, any, if I'm scared of anybody, it's definitely my mother. Like, so yeah. Uh, being so young and like uh, learning from Giannis and being around him for two to three years that I was in the league, um, being around guys like Donovan Mitchell, Joe Ingles who's from here, um, Mike Conley, then going to Philly and being around the Joel Embiid, Tobias Harris, Danny Green. Um, I felt like I've been in good positions all the way around just to be around great vets and uh, leaders who know the game, been in the game for a long time just to coach me and mold me into you know, the professional that I might not have known how to be just coming into it as a young kid who's still kind of new in the basketball and just learning the game still. So it's a blessing to be around some of the players that I've been that hold big names in the basketball community. My first year with Milwaukee, going to training camp, Giannis actually thought I had made the team. When he found out I was cut, he um, sent me a message just kind of like, yo, like, keep grinding. Like, my younger brother is going through the same thing with the Lakers. He was like, you got the talent, you got everything that you need, just keep working and everything will fall into place. And ever since he kind of sent me that text, that's always what I refer back to. Uh, basketball has always been an escape for me to just show who I am, my personality. Um, I think, in a sense, I have a false narrative on the floor than you would if you caught me off the floor. Uh, I'm kind of aggressive. Uh, some people might call it cocky, arrogant, just the way I, I play and just, um, I am an entertainer. I do like to have fun. Uh, I am a showman, so however you tend to take it on the court, um, I like to win. I'm a competitor, so it's definitely my escape of just letting everything out. And when I go home, I'm exhausted. Basketball has definitely been a thing for me that has uh, helped me just become a better man on and off the court, a uh, better person, um, helped me become more personable. Um, growing up like I did, I really didn't talk to many people. Like I kind of kept to myself. So it helped me become more vocal and just, like I said, more of an entertainer, more, more vocal. So it, it's definitely helped me out a lot.